Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do the heat acetate with the foliage. So I'm going to be using the fabulous foliage, closed one, and I've got this one which is I've got little bits in there. Spring foliage. So I'm going to be using little bits of that one today as well. So let's just get to it. I'll show you some colours. I've been asked to show colours. So I'll do the black one first. Sometimes mine don't come out, they come out quite blobby. But I think the first time you do it, you stamp it, you've got a lot of the wow um, embossing pad on it but then once you've done it once do it again and again and you'll find you can see the veins more so let's just give it a go and show you let's just pop these pop them out of the way for a moment so you need to wipe it and remember where you've put your fingerprints I always just do one in the corner and hold it so give it a good wipe and then <coughs> I'm going to cough and I've not even done it yet and then tap and breathe out right now I've already inked it up don't need silicon Move that out of the way. Don't need any shaping tools. So we'll do the big one first because that's the most one that doesn't work out most of the time. Okay, so we're just using the big one out of the Fabulous Foliage one. So ink it up. So we've used quite a lot of, I call it ink, but glue, embossing stuff. So place it down, press, lift it straight up. And then you can turn it round and you can, you should be able to get another one in there so we do that in gold and you've still got a bit of time I don't think the first one's come out very well sorry if you can hear my cat is snoring in the background again that's not too bad we can get away with that. That's not too bad at all. So I'll just pop that to one side. Put this back in. I think the white one, I know it's um, super fine. I think it still can be a little bit cloggy sometimes. Especially with the really, really fine ones. Right, the next one, we do this one in white. This is the little berry one. And I'm going to use exactly the same paper, or acetate, I should say. And I'm going to fit them in the little bits that you're not wasting. And I tend to, if you haven't got enough room for the stalk, I don't tend to put the stalk on because nine times out of ten, I do cut the stalk off. So I'm just going to position it. And I'm going to do a couple without re-inking it. There. And should be out. You can see where you're going. Because the light shines on it. That one, not. You can still use it, but it's gone quite a bit further down. But you can still use it. Okay. So I'm just going to that 
down there. Okay, that's those ones. So when I cut that out, you just have to be really careful. I'm going to be, I'm going to cut them. I won't cut all of them out, but I will cut at least one out to show you how I do the cutting out when I do it, because I know everybody does it different. Right, let's pop this back in. It's got a few little glittery bits in there, but never mind. Right, I'm going to use a black one. This is just, um, this is quite a lovely black actually. It's Paper Mania. Um, black embossing powder, it just says on it. It doesn't say anything about it being gloss on the outside. But when you use it, it comes out really shiny. It's a really lovely one. I'll just show you. So, that was the little berry one. Let's pop that to one side because we've used that. Right, I'm going to use this one next. So, push this back in. I'm just going to turn it round. Do you remember my holding corner was here? It is now up there. But I'm not going to use that, so I will use that as a holding corner as well. So with this one, I've inked it. One, two, three, four. There you go. You see where I've held it previously. You can. It's sort of attached to the fingerprints. So what I do, I just get the little um, anti-static thing and just wipe them off in a minute. But you can see, I got out of one um, emboss in the wow embossing. I don't know. I'm going to call it glue. I don't know what you call it. I did out of one dob 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 in there. I got four out of it so you don't need to keep doing it every time okay so I'll just pop that to one side and I'm going to put this back in put the lid back on right this one this is um, a Chloe's one this is Starry Night it's quite a pretty one when you do the blue cards so that one's been done that one's been done just pop them out the way bring your acetate back in I'm going to hold that corner and I'm going to get rid of my fingerprints there just get rid of that pick it up and give it a shake I'm going to get give that a shake as well because that's still got black on it. I'm just going to give that a little oh I've got my hair. Get rid of that. Okay. Patch that back in. Got a little one there. I'm not worried about that. Right. Let's just just maneuver it. So ink it up. start at the top I'm going to turn it round I'm going to go in this way so straight down try not to make it slip because that's when you get them all blurry and just fit them in so that's two Three. That's out the three out of the same first initial dob dob dob. So you can see where that one didn't meet. So 
wow embossing pen and I'm going to go in with that this is the first time I'm using the pen so I'm just going to go in hopefully it'll work and just top it up there I'm no artist I have to tell you so look at that perfect no one will ever know could have actually done it with this but there's a bit too much veining to do that with right so no matter how much you're careful you still get now and again little fingerprints where you're putting it down and you're lifting it up but you're going to be cutting around that so I'm not worried about that just put that to one side and pop this back in here I don't need that for the time being, so I'll get rid of the scrap paper, put that lid back on. This lid back on because we're now going to be heating. So remember what I say when you're heating, especially acetate, you want to heat away. Actually, let's bring this back in because you can see it better. Heat your gun away first to heat it up, and then I'm going to do the whole lot in one go. Literally, maybe a minute. So, here we go. Swears over. Right, that's all then done. Right, these ones that are on the very edge, we can still use them. So, literally, just cut round them. I tend to use every part I can when I'm using the acetate even if you're doing say if you're doing the big uh, leaves if there's space in between get a smaller one out and use that and then you're not going to waste anything and you can interlock them a lot of the time as well so you're not wasting anything. Right, I'm not worried about the stalk, so I'm going to cut that stalk off. So I don't very often use stalks, so I always cut them off. Right, I'm going to cut them all out. Just show you how to cut or how I cut around them. I don't like too much acetate showing, I have to admit. So when I do them, it does take a little bit longer because I tend to cut quite a long way in. Right, that's more cut. That will be used for something else later, I'm sure. So that one's a bit Let's do this one. So with this one, I literally just cut 
as close as you can to the white This is a nice one. So with this one, leave a little bit around the edge. Don't go all the way down with these ones. doing like a, a card where they're going to be at the top and you want them just to sort of free flow as it were then the more you cut into it the more they're going to like be flappy around so the more they're going to shine so I'll just cut into them down the bigger one, I'll show you, that one I do tend to cut near enough all of them out because it's such a big one. That one can go a little bit closer. I'll go as close as I can without cutting into it. Right, that's that one. You can see that. So it's still a little, little, little wobbly there. And these ones, these ones are very easy. Chop them off there. So straight in. really quick one there that's that one and then the silver the gold one all right this one there's lots of space to get in so I'll cut all the stalk so all the way around cut down around you've got to be careful not to cut that one off there because it's a it's a bit precarious that. Follow it all the way around. If you get to a bit where you think, oh, I can't see what I'm doing, turn it over and cut the other way. Because you can still see what you're cutting. anything you want me to demonstrate just let me know either at crafty carol w at virginmedia.com or facebook message me or leave a message on youtube and i'll get back to you as soon as i can um, and i'll try and help you any way i can right it's nearly done and we've cut every single leaf out and it's not taken that long it's just I know if you've got like if you're doing a whole card it does take quite a while especially when you're cutting out the flowers and everything else but I think once this is all cut out it looks so lovely especially in the gold might have to use the gold ones on with the um, flowers that I did earlier the winter flowers because they were gold so I can feel a card coming on. Okay. 
crystal cap. Right, there you go. That is your card. Your leaf foliage. Okay, so later on I will go and I will cut all these out and I will put them in little pot and I will use them on something. Not sure about the navy ones because they, they didn't come out as well as I expected, I have to admit. That one, I think that was the third one. So, two stamps, that one's okay. I'll, I still use them because you can always put the glitter, silver. I should, I'll do that now actually. Let's put that to one side. They're all the ones that are cut out. So, if you do get that and it is really bad, don't chuck it away. Give it a little with your anti static mat just to make the glue stick. And I will go in and I will just do like a tear shape, teardrop shape in the middle, just following it round like that. can't waste any of it, you've spent all that time heating brushing it, you've used all your powder nothing is ever wrong in crafting there's always something that you can do if you mess it up either put a flower on it or a leaf or a gem or something in this case this one didn't turn out as I expected so I'm going to put some glitter on it. Let's get rid of these ones. Pop them to one side. But this one I will leave for quite a long time. And I do tend to put them on the radiator. Because it, they dry out quicker. And I think that looks quite pretty. <laughs> so a mistake turns into something really pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not sure what the next one's going to be. I uh, haven't asked to do anything at the moment. Um, well, tell a lie. One thing I will be doing is heat embossing on mirror card. Someone's asked me to do that. So I'm just going to let me put this back in the pot because I can see me having a major accident with this. I'll just quickly show you the card that I did when I heat embossed on mirror card. And I've also you have to use a good quality mirror card. I got I tend to I like the silver and the gold that I get from my local cheapy shop. It's really really nice. But you cannot heat emboss onto it because the mirror card just turns into matte. Okay, so this this is a crafter's companion mirror card. Um, and Chloe's is another excellent one to do heat embossing onto. Let's show you this one because you can see much more there. I don't know if you can see it properly. My husband's behind me saying no, down a bit, down a bit. Just so you can see. So I'll be doing that at another time. Hope you've enjoyed I won't be doing the card by the way, I'll just be um heat embossing onto mirror card. I'm not going to do another one of these cards. It took ages, I have to tell you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon.